Hi, welcome to the Ram series and this understanding of multiplicity. Uh, this channel looks at the misrepresentations that lend themselves to misunderstanding of what used to be called multiple personality disorder or MPD and is now called dissociative identity disorder or DID. I wanted to make a video. It's a video response. I've been wanting to make it for a while but I've been not feeling really up to doing videos. Um, I wanted to talk about this one, a, a friend, subscriber that most of you probably know because he went under a different name, um, username, and was probably subscribed to just about everybody's channel out here at one time or another, um, sends me videos sometimes regarding anything he sees on multiple personality or disassociative identity disorder, and he'll say, hey, what do you think of this, or just one subject line, hey, or do you have an opinion about this? Or did you see this? <laughs> and a lot of times if it's something similar to a topic I already covered, I won't, I just, I don't want to keep being redundant. So I talked about the reptilian thing. I've talked about the belief in the demonology. I've talked about the belief in possession and all that. I've talked about um, my thoughts anyways and I, I don't believe it's demon possession or reptilian nation and that's what alters are but I know that a lot of a lot of people that experience their lives as um, being programmed from the Illuminati or from SRA uh, do experience their life as being as their, the people in their system or group or their other selves, like sometimes they'll call it, as being de demons, they're demons, and possessing them, and then not having any control. And like I said, there's so many different experiences, we've all said it out here. I've never experienced um, Uh, the diagnosis or condition, but I've never experienced this as a spiritual oppression or demonic uh, anything that, or something that couldn't be controlled or mm, I just have not had that experience, but uh, I know a lot of people have. So <sighs> Nick a person in Athens, Greece will send me videos and say, what do you think about this video or that video? Or he sees something on DID, MPD, multiple personality, and he'll just send a one-liner, hey, did you see this? <laughs> and like I said, I don't want to be redundant about the, the spiritual on that, but I do want to mention there is one video that Nick sent me, and he said, uh, what do you think of this guy? And I will mention it. It was a video. It's a video response then to Nick out in Athens, Greece. Um, I used to follow Arthur Burke years ago when he was in the New Age movement. Um, <laughs> there were very rare people you could uh, for for what I was interested in. I'll explain in a minute. And it got me tossed out of a church actually, <laughs> but. And then later, that same church was using some of his books, so it's very interesting to me. But um, Arthur Burke is a gentleman out here who is the director of Plumbine Ministries. Um, he was very, very popular during the New Age movement. He is a self-proclaimed prophet. He has a channel out here on YouTube called the Sapphire Leadership Group better known as SLG. Um, he also has a um, course that he's, that he's teaching that comes up, a seminar course that you pay for to go to to get accredited to work with people with trauma, DID, MPD, all kinds of things. Um, uh, he is just a self-proclaimed prophet, and all of his uh, 
videos sound very sympathetic, empathetic to different vulnerable groups. Whether you're going through marital problems, he's got an answer for that. If you're going through, the, and there's a spirit that's causing those marital problems. If you're going through problems with your children, there's a spirit that's causing that. He's got an answer for that. Um, if you're going through grief and loss, he's got a class and a talk and an answer, and there's a spirit that's causing that. And if there's trauma in your past, that too. Um, about 2011, Arthur Burke started writing in his in his one of his many blogs uh, in one of his four locations to his staff that the time was right to shine the light on a community that was under what he calls the mesmerizing spirit. There are several different uh, spirits that he identifies. The mesmerizing spirit, he identifies it as a, as a spirit of division and paralyzation. And it can be found in a person that has suffered through any kind of abuse or trauma in the past and refuses to let go of that trauma and come forward and move past it. Um, he has a video out here called Shame versus Guilt or Guilt versus Shame and DID. And he has another one called DID and a New Tool. Um, He's hosting a conference in the price of $50 a, for a non-refundable fee and then $125 registration fee and then two payments of $125 by December, I believe 23rd, and then you get something like 15% off or whatever. And this is through another headship of the ministry called thehealingtree.com which does these beyond the basics courses where people pay money to be family ministers, counselors, um, spiritual ministers, and they learn how to do spirit work. They learn how to do spiritual counseling, healing, and deliverance. Arthur Burt is a, it, and his staff are a healing and deliverance prayer ministry and counseling. They do charge money for counseling people. They do charge money for, they have their own, um, their beliefs from Arthur Burke believes God's telling him about the spirits that are at work with different people with different problems. So, I'm trying to think of a good example. Um, so, say you're working in a factory for years and you're doing all the hard work and there's people that are just kind of like putzing along not doing anything, but they're getting all the recognition and they're getting the raises and they're getting promoted and you're, do you're working the hardest and you're doing the most, but you're not getting ahead. Arthur Burke believes that is a mesmerizing spirit in the workplace. It's also found in politics where certain people get stuck and other people get promoted. He believes it's found in situations like where adult children and adult parents just can't reconcile. Uh, maybe an adult parent has apologized till they're purple and sincerely meant it with no excuse, said, I am sorry, I was wrong, I was a horrible parent at that point in my life, I did terrible things, I, I know I hurt you, I didn't mean to, and I, I, please forgive me, and if you can't, I understand, but I, I just want you to know, I am, I don't want to hear about it anymore, I am forever sorry, and it's the end of it, I'm done hearing about it, and um, it, it's when then you get together with your adult child and for some reason that one thing keeps coming up or two things or three things every chance they get they bring it up they never get past it 
it can be that same type of a thing where it's always going back to the past grant support. So, of course, he wrote that people with DID in this community are, are stuck under the spell of the um, mesmerizing spirit which needs to be cast out and the light needs to be illuminated on this spirit that is heavily at work. So, um, that was designed way back in 2011 and he started infiltrating with videos out here. Um, but he he targets all kinds of groups for he has the answers for. I a really quick example. If you have trouble losing weight and you don't know why you're having trouble losing weight, you've tried everything, you've done everything, you've starved yourself, you're still losing weight, you're still gaining weight. Pardon me. Um, Arthur Burke has, believes he has developed a machine of EEGs, an EAV machine that can go in with the electrodes on and identify the spirit that is hindering you from losing weight. Same thing, he can go into your house. Say you've got one room that's always cold, you just can't beat it. The rest of the house heats up fine and one room just always has a draft no matter what you do. He believes that they can now scientifically, empirically prove and see the spirit at work. Sort of like Ghostbusters, I guess? Um, I don't know what else to compare it to. But he has this um, this class called Beyond the Basics, and uh, it's January 2014, and people will be taught on um, Intro to DID, the Fragments of Mind, uh, Integration, Grief Work, post traumatic Stress Disorder, Trauma Work, Marital Spiritual Work, How to Keep Your Spirit uh, safe while working with spiritual, um, how to discern the spirits, um, borderline personality, that you can be taught all these things for that price, but there's kept. Before you can go to that class, you must have had to take the Elijah Revelation class, which is a prerequisite, it's a whole more money. So even though Arthur Burke for years has had very sympathetic, empathetic, and cool sounding stuff, um, this is my video response to, to uh, Nick. I know that some people in the multiple community out here have, and DID community have gone to Arthur Burke's videos and gone, oh my gosh, <laughs> he sounds like he's DID himself. He really gets it. Um, okay, what he gets is that you are possessed with a demon and he, him and his ministers and staff can expel them and um, you must be then integrated to be well and following um, their beliefs. So be very cautious. I, mean, I used to read him back in I'd say the late 90s, early that, and back in the late 80s, he had some stuff out with the Louise LaHaye um, uh, people there. He was publishing there a little bit and here and there. You will find him under the Sapphire Leadership Group, SLG. Really just keep following those links and reading and do the research, and you'll know more about Arthur Burke. Follow Plumbine Ministry. Follow uh, HealingTreeMinistry.com, Beyond the Basics, you'll get a pretty good idea of who Arthur Burke is. Okay, that's my video response for what do I think of Arthur Burke and DID. Thank you.